Today, I'm gonna to show you how to batch out a whole bunch of colored pencil holders in a very efficient way that you can then sell online for profit and at craft shows. So, get out the channels, motherfucker! So the first thing that we're going to do is cut up some pieces so they're roughly the same size and get ready for the glue up. I love using plywood for the, the middle because I love the repeating lines. Whoa. That's happened to us all, right? <coughs> no laughing. Hey, Eric, let's be professional, okay? Cool, so we'll just let that sit and dry for a couple hours. I have some templates here that I drew up in Adobe Illustrator. I'm just going to cut them out and use some spray adhesive to attach it to the top faces of these boards. This guy right here will hold a 24 pack of colored pencils. And then these guys over here will hold a 12 pack. And then these ones right here will actually have a bigger hole in the center for paint brushes and pencils and pens. I will have all of these as free downloads. There'll be a link down below for you to go check that out. So I have my patterns cut out and arranged in a very efficient way. And I'm just going to use spray adhesive here. I'm using the general purpose light I like to take an awl and just mark where my drill holes are going to be. So now we're just gonna cut out all the shapes here on the bandsaw. Cut as close to the line as you can without touching it. We'll actually sand down to the line in a later step. If it's hard to push through or if you're getting any burning, that means either your blade is dull or you have too many teeth per inch and it can't remove the waste material fast enough. For these big guys here, we want to cut the middle out. We're going to do that on the bandsaw. We're just going to come in from the side, go all the way around, remove it, and then glue it back shut. All right, so now I'm just going to glue the entry kerf shut. So now I have a 5 16 inch drill bit in here. I have a depth stop. Oh, I don't know, inch and a quarter maybe. And I'm just going to start drilling all the holes here. So that is why we used the ice pick earlier to start the holes. Because sometimes when we're drilling, the template wants to come off. Are you kidding me? Are you, are you kidding me right now? You know what, I'm selling this as is. And now we sand. Guess what? More sand. So 
So I have my little router uh, mounted to my desk with my vise here. And I'm just going to do a very, very small 1 8 inch round over on all the edges here. So I put a chamfer bit in here and instead of rounding over the top on these square guys, I'm going to chamfer them and I think it's gonna class it up. For this guy, I'm gonna fancy it up a little bit. I'm going to glue it on this piece of bubinga here and then once the glue dries, I'm gonna... Oh, come on. Where's my Duresta ice pick? Thank you, Jimmy. that on top no need for clamps we'll just use this concrete weight that we made a few weeks ago if you want to check out that video it'll be here so I decided to cut part of the bottom off over on the bandsaw because I thought it was just too thick for this pencil holder all right so now I'm going to take the scrap pieces from the middle of these bigger pencil holders and make pencil holders out of them. This will be very resourceful and we can make a little bit more money at the craft show. So let's just go stand these up and drill some holes in them. So I find at craft shows that people want to pick up the items and touch them. So you want to sand them as smooth as possible. And I like using oil with a little bit of polyurethane and mineral spirits to thin it down uh, for a, just that, that oil really brings out the beauty and keeps the feel. If you're short on time, you're looking for a quicker way to finish it and spray lacquer is the way to go. I finish everything off with a coat of wax and it just, it just feels really good in the hands and helps sell the items at craft shows. I have a video on this tri-blend finish. There'll be a link down below as well as up here. Also, I suggest wearing uh, rubber gloves. I happen to be out of rubber gloves at the moment. So, yeah. You can post your disgust in the comments down below and I'll do my best to respond to your, your negativity. You don't make fun of the comment section and the negative comments all the time. But the truth is most of the comments are absolutely amazing and encouraging and uh, motivational. I just, I really, really get great feedback in the comments. And so when I talk about the negative comments, I'm doing it in a fun comedic way. I'm having fun with it. This is about having fun. No fun! Some of you might recall that video where we had fun. So normally I would not finish these yet. I would wait until I have all my items for the craft show and then do all my finishing at the same time. To get the most value out of your craft, it's very important to be efficient with your time and do as much batching as you can. Unless, unless, unless you enjoy the process and you enjoy taking your time. Remember, this is supposed to be fun. That's what this channel is about. It's all about having fun. So do what's most fun for you. I've applied for a craft show this November. It's a jury craft show, so it's not guaranteed that I'll get in. I always suggest the jury craft shows over the ones that you would find at maybe like your local school or church. The jury shows tend to bring in an audience that's willing to pay for handmade items. I have a whole video on craft show tips and tricks you can check that out here the craft show that I'm hoping to get in will have a lot of artists there and so I will fill these with higher end colored pencils watercolor pencil sets and then drawing pencil sets I sell them with and without the pencils I've had a lot of success in the past selling these to artists and I've even had custom orders for paintbrush holders and technical pen holders so how much am I gonna charge for these good question I have an entire video on how much to charge for your work Check it out here. So leading up to November, I'll probably do a few more of these batching out videos and that'll give you a good idea on what I plan on selling. Did you like this video? Well then give me the thumbs up and share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Are you new here? Well then subscribe because we put out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Every Tuesday and Thursday we put out videos. Every Tuesday and Thursday we put out new videos. You have to subscribe to keep up with what I'm doing over here. And I have a Patreon page full of bonuses and perks that you can go check out. My Patreon supporters get into weekly giveaways. We got, an, we got a vlog going on over there. Plus we got one-on-one -on -one 
Skype calls, which is always awkward and fun. So check out patreon.com slash to see how you can join the Make Something team. Go team. All right, I gotta get out of here. I got some filming to do for my Instagram stories. As always, have fun and make something. Ah, ha, ha. Ever get the feeling you've been cheated? Good night. <laughs>